Hey guys, so I'm now gonna try out the relay mode on the Cactus V6 system. And to do that, you need to have a total of three V6. So one I have it here set up for the flash, which I have it here. It's the Mets 58 AF1 and one which needs to be also in the receiver mode later on for the mounted on top camera and I have it here which is the Panasonic Lumix GX1 that's right and then the third one which I will be holding it in my hand as a remote by pressing the test button here all right so uh, what I do will would be setting up the camera one first which basically need to plug in the cable from the shutter release port uh, that's secured Oops. and the other end gonna plug into the 3.5 mil sync port on the side of the V6 there we go Set it to Alex mode. Right, and um, also set up the flash, turn it on, and then oops, turn on to also to receiver mode. And I haven't set up, I don't think, have I already set up the flash to. Oops. Oh, okay, it's already got the profile corrected. 58. We have one for the Mets on Canon. And next are my third V6. Gonna set to TX mode. And if I remember correctly, I think I have to first set the. Well, I don't think the order actually matters, but. Uh, let me go through the menu. Here, here it is. Relay. I need to set it to on and go press it again and it's already on and you can see on the display here whoops it's saying it's REL so that's that means the relay it's on and that's uh, as the TX and then on my RX unit on top the camera hashu that's right, uh, set to RX and this one here also needs to set it to relay on so press that the wheel and on, turn it on then press the menu to exit back to the main menu and you can see here it's relay has been activated so all the channels are the same, I set it to channel 7 and so when I press the test button here, it should. Hold on, I'm holding it with my other hand. Oh, it's not focusing. Sorry. Oh. So when I press this, it will activate the camera, which is connected to the the cable to the shutter port. I just put the flash on that side. Now let's try it first. Oh, I think it came on. Hold on. Oops. So, yep, the flash. It's in sync with on the same frame uh, with the picture. I'll just try one more time. And I forgot to mention that the flash on that is set on the on the V6 arc here is set to A. So I can adjust the power right from this unit here and right now I have it to what is it uh, 64 let me let's first try 128 then okay and press here half press on my TX unit it focuses I, I didn't turn on the 
the AF uh, sound on the camera, but you can see. Okay, I think it turned on. Yep, it's on. And let me try to take a couple. Whoops. To show the power changes that's actually ticking on at the same time. Let's try, say, 16 of power. Do that. Give it a try. Go. Oops. Oh, I didn't focus quick enough. Anyway, let me try a few more, which I can do basically control the power and control the camera at the same time. Hold on. Okay, let's try. Whoa. Let's try full at uh, full power. Ooh, okay, maybe a bit too powerful. Let's go back down to let's say 64 power. Okay. Is it one? Yep. Okay. Now let's take a look at the photos I've taken. I think that one there was taken. Uh, 28 of power, no 64. Oh, and whoa, that's all blinded. Oh, that's uh, full power, and that's earlier. So, I was able to control power and remote shutter release the camera with basically only three triggers. I think in the past, like uh, most triggers out there, like you need like two for. Two for the shutter release itself, or you get a, like a shutter release remote that's de dedicated to doing this stuff. Uh, but if not, you, you need two for the camera shutter, the cable, and another two, another from the hot shoe to the remote flash. So I think with the relay mode, you can actually have well, actually you save one one transceiver or one trigger in that case. So I think it's pretty. It's a pretty good and useful and economical way of doing both when you need when you need it. Yep, so that's it. I'll try try out other functions next time. Thanks for watching.